You old people that have a lot of money. I know uh, <laughs> 20 of you and you're rich as hell. We're going to give you tax cuts. That's what Trump said last December to a room full of billionaires. An October report by the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy found that his tax proposals would lead to tax cuts for the nation's richest 5% and increases for 95% of Americans. The richest 1% would see an average tax cut of more than $36,000, while the next highest 4% would see average tax cuts of $7,200. The middle 20% of Americans would see an average tax hike of more than $1,500, or 2.1% of their incomes. But the poorest 20% would have to shoulder an average tax increase of $800, or a whopping 4.8% of their incomes. ITEP made its analysis by looking at Trump's plans to extend parts of the 2017 tax law, exempt certain types of income from taxes, reduce the corporate tax rate from 21% to 20%, repeal Biden's Inflation Reduction Act tax credits that gave incentives for companies to use green energy, and impose a 20% across the board tariff on imported goods and a 60% tariff on goods from China. So while some of Trump's proposals do cut taxes, his tariffs that force American companies to pay extra for imported goods would offset them by causing increased prices for consumers. Harris's tax proposals, on the other hand, would redistribute income from high earners to low earners. The Tax Foundation found that if her plan were enacted, the bottom 60% would see increases in after-tax income, while the top 40% would see decreases. Harris wants to help close the huge gap between the rich and the poor. Trump wants to expand it.